Hello everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to a brand new episode of The Fisher Online. Uh, a new major update just uh, hit in and uh, look at that. Look at our phone, it's changed now. And uh, this episode primarily is dedicated for starlets. That's why I am here. We are in Russia uh, fishing for starlets. They're worth a boatload of money and Thanks to everyone who has been watching my stream, they've helped me out, the community, uh, in letting me know where to fish for starlets, what lures, what baits to use. So I'm using mollusk, I'm using size 1 and size 2 hooks, and I'm using I'm using a general attractant that you can buy from Germany. Unfortunately, it is not available in Russia for some reason. Uh, if you want to look, if you want to know the coordinates, it's 116, 170 roughly, and I'm casting full strength towards that tree, the fallen tree over there. In that deep end are where the sterlets are, so let's see what fish we have here. This is fighting way too, uh, this is running around too much. Oh, that is a sterlet. Can you see it? Yes, right off the bat too. Nice sized sterlet here. Oh yes, look at that beauty, 5 kg sterlet, this, I think this guy will be 100 silver hopefully, and that is sweet sauce. If you look at the map here, we're casting towards the deep end, and this one isn't even casting far because I don't have any attractants on this guy. Uh, I have attractants on two of my rods, uh, so if I press I for inventory and go on this cog here, I'm using a Lucky Fishing SF, Lucky Fishing Mollusk pieces is what you need here. I have size 2 medium sized hook. Oh, this is why, because I'm using bottom weight. That is stupid. And when I have the basket, I don't have feed in that one. I have a basket and a feed in this one, so that is good. Uh, so, uh, which one am I using wrong here? This is my number three, so let's go ahead and recall our number third here. This one, and then uh, let's cast this out with a basket, and then I'll show you what I've caught so far in my stream. Uh, I stream this game on Mondays because Mondays we all need a picker-upper, uh, rather than streaming the Fisher online, which I do on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, on Mondays, I think everyone, you know, needs a break. No one's really interested in watching someone wait for a fish for like half hour and just get nothing. Or, you know, like having my line broken or my leader broken. There's a lot of frustration in that game in Russian Fishing 4. And the Fisher Online is very forgiving. It's, it's easy. It gives you a lot of stuff. It keeps me busy. And it's just all around, it's really nice to have. Uh, so the textures still need a little bit of work, but that is cool. I don't have an issue with that because it is being worked on. So this is a non-predatory fish. I really thought it was a predatory fish, but I really don't know the exact definition of predatory versus non-predatory. It is a Russian sturgeon. It's valuable. Absolutely. I believe this 5 kg is worth 100 silver and it's in the red book. I don't know what that means yet. Uh, so that is pretty darn cool. Uh, wow, another fish on already. Uh, this is probably going to be a smaller one. And then I will show you my stats, the biggest sterlet I've caught so far. It was worth, I believe, 130 silver, if I remember correct. Uh, man, it would be so sweet if I can get a trophy. Uh, in the stats page, it says sterlets grow up to 7 kg, and I am darn close to that. Uh, this will under a kg? 1.4 kg, sure, okay. Oh, I'm not even casting this far. Uh, what am I missing here? Oh, my feed is gone. So I might have to go back to Germany and buy that. So we have this store reels. I believe it, mean, it means store deals. And it's not turners, it's a tournament. Uh, so apparently tournaments got a huge update here in the Fisher Online. And it's so funny because Russian Fishing 4 just had this huge update as well. Isn't that so? 
Nice. I don't understand much for these tournaments, so I'm not even going to bother with it. But uh, if we go to stats here, and if we go to sterlet, my biggest sterlet is 6.559 kg. Uh, that is absolutely amazing. Because if you go on fishing on the lake, sterlet, it says max weight is 7 kg. And we are at 6.556 kg. So we are just so close to the max size. I don't know what a trophy size is. Uh, but having getting a 7 kg would be absolutely amazing. If you go to the records here, the biggest sterlet caught so far is... Oh boy. Sterlet. There we go. 9.957 kg is the biggest sterlet ever caught. And we are already... Uh around the 6.5 kg mark so uh pretty cool uh for now if you look at the right side it says daily quest that i've engaged in uh we need 45 46 kg worth of total fish i have 6.4 kg worth of total fish so in the quests here you can do missions here uh, so right now this is the one we need uh, 300 silver we're gonna get out of this we're gonna get one angler token and 540 experience this is just so worth it to log in every day for this uh, it's just one guy who's developing the game and he's done an amazing job so far why is my rod looking so lopsided oh wow it just decided not to cast it at all that's why I wasn't getting anything Speed. let's put lucky fisher on this Let's throw this at the tree there. Okay. Press Y to put the rod down and there we go. So now all we gotta do is wait. And uh, the water is just so well done. You can see the current of the water. It's flowing that way. And when you're on your boat and you're on the river, it looks even better. From the shore, it looks decent, but it looks amazing from the boat. Uh, which rod? Oh, this one. Another big one we have. Nice. So pump action is the way to go in this game. It works. Uh, if I wasn't pumping the rod, uh, rod up and down like that, you know, uh, this fish would be spooling us right now and we would have had to chase it in our boat. That's how effective this technique is. And even in real life, this is how we do it as well. When you crank it up, you're not reeling it in. It's when you drop the rod, that's when the slack comes in the line and that's when you reel it in. Uh, so I love that this actually works uh, because it does not work in uh, another fishing game such as Russian Fishing 4. Uh, so I, I really like this. It's almost overpowered, I would say. I guess maybe if the fish is really big, then even this doesn't work. Uh, but for the fish right now, it's working. I do have three 18 kg setups. Uh, so that is perfect. 18 kg rod, I believe. 17 kg line. 15 or 14.5 kg leader. That's my setup. Alright, Sterlet, how big are you going to be? I hope it's a sterlet. Sometimes you get uh, catfish too here. Oh yeah, that is a sterlet. All right. Nice. Look how big that is. 5.2 kg sterlet. Hot damn. Oh, that is sweet. That is so sweet. Oh, love it. We are 11.6 kg out of 45 kg. And if you're too deep in the water, it won't let you uh, drop the set, the rod. The 5 kg, we got our first one, and now we have 5.2 kg, we have a 1.4 kg. Look at that, our weight is 11 kg out of 20 kg on our net. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press map here. And this is where we are on the map. And I'm going to just click this. I love it. Isn't that amazing? That's all I needed. And I'm here. I don't need to, you know, take the boat out and drive all the way back. Let's go ahead and sell this. Look at that. Oh my god, 161 silver for 5.2 kg. And for 5 kg, it's 62 silver. What? Isn't that crazy how big of a difference it is in just 
less than 200 grams. I guess 5 kg is very common, but above 5 point, let's say 1 kg, it's very rare. So you get way more money. That is just amazing. 241 silver in less than, what? what is it, like 10 minutes? And we have 1,800 silver. I am saving that for uh, this fish bag here. 80 pieces, 90 kg max. Because right now, every like after 10, 20 kg is the max we can carry right now. So I'm always running back and forth between the town. Now I'm just going to run all the way back there. That's the only thing I can do. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's not my phone. It's my rod. <laughs> I just decided to buy a different bell on the rod and uh, I had no idea it was a phone call bell. You can even see the fish jump out of the water sometimes and splash. I absolutely love that detail. It makes the river so alive. Wow, this is a runner. Uh, but this is uh, not as big. I think it will be a sterlet, but just too small for our sake. They do run like crazy though, holy moly. Come here. They're not getting away. 1 kg maybe, hopefully. 2 kg. Wow, 4.8 kg. Nice. I like that. What is this? Plus 96 star red. That's a new addition. I don't remember seeing that before. Let's throw this out again. I really need that general attractant because I feel like that makes a difference. Uh, another 4.8 kg, this is going to be like what, 16 silver worth, 20 silver worth, uh, but that is amazing money so far. Uh, so if I go to travel here, look at that. We started out in uh, Belarus uh, at the pond there, and then we went to Wasserdam, Germany. Lots of big carp say if you have an 18 kg rod, you're going to have so much fun here because non-stop big carp action. Sometimes you will get spooled and you will have to take the boat out to chase the fish. But now we are at Russia uh, in Hunt for Sterlets. That's what this episode is about. And then uh, on a stream, hopefully, or maybe in the next episode, if you guys want to watch more, please let me know in the comments. I will go to Ukraine. I'm going to check that spot out as well. I have no idea what fish are there or uh, what lures to use, but that's something I want to do as well. Not just sit in one map forever. Okay. Ooh, this is... Hopefully another 5 kg, I hope. Uh, sometimes you can get on a boat and chase the fish. And you will actually reel it in a lot faster. Like uh, like in Germany when I was chasing those big carps. Sometimes I get a 10 kg in like 30 seconds. Because I drive my boat over it. And I don't know what the game does to decide if the fish is tired enough to be netted. Uh, but sometimes I'll drive, like, drive my boat over the fish. And I would not you know, put it in my net. And sometimes I would put the fish in my net. Uh, so it's really odd. You're not supposed to be able to net a fish that's still actively running from you. But, you know. Uh, so you can do that if you want. Sometimes you'll get it. Sometimes you won't get the fish. But you don't have to worry about getting spooled. Uh, only in Germany have I been uh, spooled. Like right now we are on top of things here. The fish cannot run away. In Germany, I've caught, you know, my biggest fish so far is that 9, 12 kg mericarp. And it was just taking away our line. Even when I was raising the rod, I just could not raise it. It was so big. And that's when the fish keeps ticking away your line. Let's see. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's a sterlet. All right. I love how you can see it when it comes uh, close to the surface or when it comes close to you. That's a nice size. 4.8 kg. 
Uh, wow. Ah, almost the exact same size. I felt this to be much bigger though than our other one. Uh, but let's see in the end how much these are going to bring in. Okay, damn it, put your rod down. There we go. That is super cool. Alright, another small one here. Doesn't look too big. I didn't even have to pump. Use the pump technique here. What is this? Oh, this is a baby one. Is it even a marker? A uh, 1.4 kg. Sure, I will take that. Alright, so uh, add this river here. In this part here, uh, using fish pieces, you can catch mollusks. And that's what I need to catch sterlets. So that's what I'm doing here. A size zero hook. What are you? What are you? A leech. Uh, I believe during daytime, you're going to get leech. And during nighttime, you're going to get mollusks. Uh, so I guess leech is fine too. Another sterlet. I'm happy it's only sterlet so far because uh, you can get chub, you can get catfish. And it's been pretty consistent for us. I'm super happy with that. Guys, once again, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. I really appreciate all the support. Oh, wow, look at that. It surfaced and just splashed around. That was amazing. Unless it was just a coincidence, but that was a huge splash. Oh yeah, that is the fish itself. Look at how amazing that looks. Oh wow, this guy looks huge. Right? Damn. Maybe this might be our biggest one, maybe? 5.6 kg. Hot damn. That is going to be worth a pretty penny. Oh yes. Alright, back in town once again. If you look at the bottom right side, you see how my bag is orange? That's because, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Uh, 16 out of 17 is 20 kg is full. So that is the issue. Uh, let's go ahead and the cutting table and use leech as leech. There we go. We got one leech piece. I'm obviously keeping that for whenever we need leeches. Holy cow, 174 silver for a 5.6 kg sterlet. 60, 60, and 17 for 4.8 kg. Uh, wow, 312 silver. I have been fishing for, what, less than half hour now? This is 300 and, oh uh, man, I don't remember the previous ones I have caught. But 200 silver now. Isn't that amazing? Sterlets, guys. <laughs> At the spot in Russia. Pra. Alright, another small fella over here. And we're getting a phone call from that part of the river. 1.7, 1.17 kg. Uh, not worth anything. Uh, but we will wait to get a bigger one. Let's go here. I really hope it's a mollusk because we need them. Uh, I believe you cannot buy them in shops, so you have to catch them. Oh man, that's another leech. Oh, that's a mollusk. Yes! Yes, that's what we needed. Nice. Uh, so mollusks, once again, you press C for your inventory. Uh, you go to cutting table. And then mollusk pieces times two. And we can do that times one. Or we can turn the sterlet into fish offals. I do not want to, uh, you know, cut this up into human livers here, which it looks like. I just want mollusks. So let's go ahead, press this button down here. Boom. Done. So if I go to my inventory, uh, let's see here. Bait. Uh, we have 31 mollusks. Mollusks. Uh, so that is perfect. Perfect. All right. Sweet sauce. Uh, we just need a bigger one of this. 2,500 silver we need and we are almost there. What do we have here? Mollusk? A large leech. Uh, 
Okay, cool. Oh, wow. Both of our odds just got a hit, I think. Let's go quickly. Tend to them. All right, who who is on? This one? Yep, the other one too. What if I do it like this? Will that work? Damn. That works all right. Okay, we're going to keep fighting this guy here. Oh, please be a 6 kg. I don't think it's going to be. I think it's going to be like a 5 kg probably. Uh, but it's sweet nonetheless. For our daily quest here, 29 kg of 45 kg. Remember, sterlets are not big fish. That's why it's taking me so long. If I wanted to do the quest, the daily quest in no time at all, I would go uh, spin fishing off of the boat or trolling because you get big fish and you can quickly do the quest and you can follow the fish. You don't have to worry about getting spooled. But all the fish I've, I catch on the boat are just worthless. They're just not worth much. If you really want to make money and you don't have mollusks, uh, just go to Germany with your 18 kg rods and farm those carps with carp boilies, uh, fruit or strawberry boilies and uh, carp attractant and you will make so much money there that it's just really nice. But these, these guys however are amazing. 5.9 kg, wow that's the biggest one yet. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's amazing. That is darn amazing. Oh, this thing is going to be worth a pretty penny. It's going to be worth a lot. Uh, 5.9 kg. Let's turn the leech into a leech. Cutting table. Leech. Okay. Let's turn our light on. Okay. And now I think now that it's nighttime, we have the risk of catching a Wells catfish. Uh, so I might be thinking, oh yeah, that's a big uh, sterlet, but it's actually just a worthless catfish. Uh, but I guess uh, for this video though, it makes sense to show something different as well. Although I'm just highlighting or showcasing the sterlets. I'm just enjoying catching them so much. Just prehistoric machines. Well, I actually don't know anything about sterlets, but I know sturgeons are prehistoric and they haven't evolved at all because they're just so well made. Alrighty, come to me. Uh, our other rod, I think, might have gotten a hit, but if you don't tend to your rods for a long time, uh, the fish unhook themselves. So that's the other thing I've noticed. And our attractant is going to finish soon too. You can see there's a bar there, an orange bar. Nice, just in time. Right as we bring this guy in, a 5 kg. Okay. Oh. Okay, this guy's small. For a sec, I'm like, what's going on here? Did I catch a fish or? A little bit of fight in him. Let's see here. Let's see what are you? 2kg, 3kg? <clears throat> 5 kg? I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> We're gonna end up bringing him over the boat unless he goes to the left there. Oh, okay, perfect. What are you? Oh, you're a sterlet as well. Okay, great. Uh, 2.3 kg. There you go. I don't know what this UN sign means. It seems like it's in Cyrillic. Cyrillic, right? The Russian language. Uh, the developer is Russian, so I think that's something. 
I don't know if it's actual letters or if it's just a symbol. All right, let's wait some more here. Look at that. 1 kg, 5.9 kg, 5 and 2 kg. This 5.9 kg is going to bring in some huge money. Let me just check my stats here again. Uh, biggest sterlet is 6.9. We have a 5.9. Okay. Okay, so this is the own. It's still going to be worth a good amount. <laughs> All right, let's sell our fish here. 118, what? I thought it would be worth more. Didn't we sell a fish for like 130 or something? I guess it was bigger than this. Uh, 5.9 kg, 118, 100 silver for a 5 kg, 30 and 14. At 263 we make, damn. Almost there, almost at 2,500. What do we have here? Another sterlet. Whoops, I need to. Hey, this is small enough uh, to be weighed. I really miss this. When I used to get small fish in the beginning, uh, you would have fish that you could hang. Once they get too big, you obviously cannot hang them like this, so <laughs> that's cool. I just started trolling because it slows down at night and I just got something. I did not expect to get anything at night. That is a chub. There you go. What you do is you throw, you increase the speed of the boat a little bit, and then you just press right click. And it makes that splash. That attracts fish. Rolling at night. Interesting. It's not going fast enough. There we go. A little bit faster and we'll be fine. Uh, because if I right click too much, then you won't be able to splash effectively. And you want as much splashing as possible. And my two bottom feeding rods are there. I'm sure I will hear, hear them when they jingle. That chub might have been a fluke, however. Another, what the heck is going on? There we go. Another small fish here. What is this? Maybe a chub? Uh, that is an eyed. Tiny fish though. Alright, so it's been uh, quite some time actually. Since my last bite, ever since evening came, uh, the bites just stopped. <clears throat> and there you go, Wells Catfish, 4.6 kg. Not bad, as long as it's big, I don't mind. Uh, but unfortunately my daily quest I could not complete that now we have a new one 38 kg for 530 silver so unfortunately I'm gonna have to spend more time trying to achieve that quest Look at that bream Wow 3.9 kg bream that is huge That's one fat boy right there All right Another fat bream here Uh, 3.6 kg, we will take that as well. That's not going in our net, that's going uh, into the, the mission here. Five mollusks, pieces for five bream here. And we have a silver bream. Nice. But we need bream, not silver, for that quest we're doing. Alright, I have been battling this fish for a few minutes. It's definitely a catfish. Uh, because no sterlet would be able to fight this hard unless it's a 9 kg sterlet, which I doubt it is. Uh, let's see, I almost have it. Uh, yep, that is a huge catfish. Wow, 13 kg Wells catfish, damn. I haven't had a fish that big. I think that might be our biggest fish yet. 
So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to leave this rod behind. Let's go ahead and check our stats here. Uh, stats. Profile. Uh, no, 14 kg carp <coughs> was our biggest fish yet. So this was our second biggest fish. Let's see how much it is worth. Uh, 23 silver for that 13 kg. Ouch. Isn't that sad? After going through the sterlets, uh, it's just... <laughs> now you now you know how much difference there is in some uh, fish. So sterlets are amazing. Alright, this is going to be our last fish for the day. And it's a baby sterlet. Oh no, it might be too small. 1.17. Yes, that is it. Perfect. Wow, uh, took a lot longer than expected because I just couldn't finish that initial goal of ours. Let's go ahead and sell our fish here. Uh, 14 silver sterlet at 1 kg. Uh, 10 kg asp and uh, yeah, not too much to look here. So sell all. And now we can finally, we have 3000 silver which means we can finally buy our... <clears throat> Uh, bag here, accessories. Wow, look at that. 100 pieces, 150 kg. Maybe I should just go for that one. Yes, yeah, 4,500. We have 3,000. We just need a little bit more. So why not go for the best? <laughs> you know what? That's what I'm going to do. Uh, might as well be a little bit more patient and buy the next best thing. Actually, the best thing. Uh, rather than going in increments and just wasting money. Uh, so unfortunately I did not buy that. But uh, you guys saw a lot of sterlet action. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. You have enjoyed this episode. And I hope to see you in the next one. Uh, please give me suggestions. Uh, please let me know if you want me to go to Poland. Uh, but do suggest what to do. Uh, sorry not Poland. In Ukraine. What to do in Ukraine. Because I don't know. That's why I'm waiting to do it on stream because people help me out on stream as to what to do. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Until then guys, enjoy.